Well, hello, folks. I thought today I'd take a moment to um, to, to actually play some of the weird instruments that I possess. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with the table. We'll start with the, the table violin and the violins other, um, of which there are also variants called violinettes, which I also and this one's in better nick. So this one you play. Um, around actually. You play it sitting down, on a, usually on a table, but for purposes just now, you bow the strings as normal. And you fret with your left hand. Now, full disclosure, I don't play much of this particularly well. I'm a beginner, with, but and I don't always tune them as they should be tuned. So bear that in mind. But that's your violins in there. Now we got a, a Gobduka from Gobduka, sorry, from um, from Bulgaria. Very similar to Cretan lyre, like all, all but identical actually. Um, this one's loud as hell. Now this one's really hard to tune, so it's not perfectly in tune. So forgive me. It's when you play like a little, like a little cello. This one's got a lot of sympathetic strings which sit just slightly lower on the bridge than the other strings. So you get that lovely reverb sound. This is a lovely instrument, um, which I one day I'll learn to play, maybe. Okay, next we got. Uh, oh, this one's interesting. <coughs> I said my current favourite. This is, hey, well, turns out thanks to a, a well, thanks to a, a, a clever um, group member, Hunter, well done. It actually turns out this is a Foro Kimeng, which is a. Um, I believe the only one. So what this, how this works, basically it's got a resonator in the centre here, which is like a speaker, and it's got a gramophone needle and horn, which connects to the bridge, which translates the sound through the horn and through the resonator. So you get this lovely kind of directional, metallic sort of sound, and it sounds amazing. Now here we go. So amazing I can play it. Lovely things. I've got a couple of sympathetic strings on the side, which run up the side of the instrument, um, which I think we were C and an F. 
which just give it again that extra little layer of resonance of reverb if you would. Next up we got um, a traditional instrument of Sweden I believe which is of Scandinavia which is a nickel harpa. This one's lovely, uh, the bigger than I thought it'd be. Um, so nickel harpa is a traditional Swedish instrument. This is the wrong bow for it, it's been a bow been much smaller but I haven't got a bow yet. So this is a, a traditional cut, cutting of the hurdy-gurdy in that it has keys I bet it's a bow instrument. So you play you 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 bow like a, a violin but with a smaller bow, and use the keys to. Again, I can't play. I can't. I can't really play it yet. But I'll figure it out eventually. Love it though. And this one was made by a guy called Gunnar Wellbarg, I believe. Next up we've got my oldest instrument, and this is a bit of a, this is a, bit of a mystery, this one. Um, this one came from an auction, and the previous owner was, what was a serious, serious, serious collector of, in, of ancient instruments. He was well steeped in early music, and if anyone could own an original Kimesh, it would be him. So this is a chance, the chances are actually a real genuine um, actual, well, not even antique, relic, for the better word. And yet it still plays. Not, I'm not the best player, obviously, but it plays. What's amazing about this is it's 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 all it's all made from handmade tools that you know would have existed thousands of years ago, and yet it still manages to stay in tune. say it's nothing to it it's just a coconut shell with a woven skin over it and yeah so this could be a true relic and finally I thought I'd show as um, a lot of people laughed about it this is the uh, this is the Kraken bass girdy a prototype of the gateway girdy bass girdy um, now it's really this is to be honest it's more of a, an electric instrument because bass registers are much subtler um, but you can still hear it It up a bit.
I prefer the fact you wait for an hour, but. There are two champions choose to G1 and G2. Put that in perspective, G2 is the second string on the cello. And G1 is an octave lower. Basically, the, the third note on the lowest string of the bass guitar. There you go. All my weird string instruments in one go. Thanks for watching.